Some say Cecilia Render avoids the spotlight and stays in the shadows. They say she's the most behind-the-scenes person you'll find in the Foundation world, which makes you think she's quiet. Is she quiet? I don't know how quiet I am. I am behind the scenes, though. I don't think I'm quiet. I think I do say what I think. Um, I ask a lot of questions. Um, which I'm sure people get tired of answering all the time because that's what I do. I ask questions, that's how I learn. Learning, it's really at the center of her life. Cecilia is the executive director of the Nordson Corporation Foundation, and her mission is to lead the Nord family's legacy. Well, hopefully I'm keeping that legacy alive. Evan and Eric were both very philanthropic people. They believe that corporations should share their success with the communities where they live and work and I hope that I'm able to do that because we believe that education is the equalizer. And so if we can get people educated, they can get a job, they can support their families, support their communities. Community has meant many things to Cecilia. She was raised in rural Jefferson, Ohio, raised in the wide open space of a farm, but in the close confines of a home with nine children, raised by parents who were both teachers. She was the seventh of the nine. And we're all a year apart down to me. So when I was four, they could all read, write, count, and so I decided I wanted to read, write, count. Cecilia's mother was an active reader. She always had a book in her hand. If you ask Cecilia who her greatest influence in her life has been, she'll tell you it was her mom. She was just one of those always calm people. You know, she never was rattled. She just was a calm person. And I try to do that in my life. <laughs> I don't know that I always achieve it. And as my kids, they probably say I don't. Cecilia and her husband, Daryl, have been married for 25 years, and they have two children, Daryl Jr. and Anna. Daryl Jr. is the starting defensive end on the University of Pittsburgh's football team. Anna is a sophomore at Smith College and is studying engineering. She loves dance and is working to use that love and somehow connect it with her study of biomechanics to one day help people with spinal injuries walk again. The kids are all right, you could say. Make no mistake, family influences every move Cecilia makes in her life, both personally and professionally. Another lesson learned from her mother. And she always taught, always make room for one more. Again, she had nine kids, so dinner time, there were 11 of us around the table, and if somebody would happen to be there at dinner time, she's like, fine, what's one more? And so that's what I try to say, be welcoming. Even though we were, all, we were raised by the same parents, we're all very different, and so it made me realize that everybody's different, but everybody is um, worth respect, and once you get to know them, that, um, they bring something different to the table. Can you imagine the scene at that table? Cecilia's table of life. Even if you are in the shadows of it, you can grow to make a difference. Mm -hmm.